Hi guys, my name's Emma and let's talk spooky stuff. <laughs> So I just finished watching a really interesting movie that actually is available on Netflix. If it's available here, you know the drill, it's probably available wherever you are. Uh, the movie is called El Bar, as in the bar. Um, it is a Spanish film and it was fucking crazy. <laughs> this is the ride of a lifetime, let me warn you. This film gets very disturbing and I was really not expecting such a crazy adventure. The film is directed by the same director that did The Last Circus and Witching and Bitching. Uh, I have seen The Last Circus, I believe, but I have not seen Witching and Bitching. <laughs> It has been on my list for a while. Let me know if you want a review of that when I finally get around to it. But this film is odd just because it is marketed as a comedy horror thriller. And it's definitely thrilling and it has got a little bit of horror themes. Um, I don't know what technically is considered horror. You know, there's so many subgenres, but it hasn't got anything too horrifying. But I'm very desensitized. The film is more of what I would say is like a thriller with a lot of disturbing aspects. It is about a bunch of random people that go into a bar, people working there and people that go there regulars when there is a shot outside and someone is killed on the sidewalk. Within the first half an hour of this film you do find out what is the cause but it has like a very fun kind of mystery play at the very start where everyone's turning to each other and saying their theories and it's really like a process of elimination and I really enjoyed that. Uh, that is definitely where I feel like it's more comedic and it's very fast paced, the whole film is very fast paced um, with its dialogue and its editing and the characters back and forth, their banter is just crazy. All your attention really has to be on this film and especially because if you don't speak Spanish like me you have to read it all. Uh, but I really like that, I like fast paced things, uh, it really kept me interested and and uh, it goes for an hour and 40 minutes and I can tell you I was in it. I was very intrigued and, and I was pretty much glued to the television. So when they do find out what the situation is, it's kind of when the film takes a turn and it goes from kind of being this not light-hearted comedy but you know like a horror comedy to a really disturbing type situation. It's hard to explain, I'm trying not to give it away, but not because of the situation, but because of the characters at play and how desperate they are. And then it kind of goes and spirals out of control from there. But I really did not expect it to take that path. I expected it to be, you know, like a Shaun of the Dead type style um, film, and it really isn't, so don't be fooled. It's quite a provocative film, I guess. Is that the word I'd use? Uh, there is a scene where um, this guy who's awful is uh, just saying these awful things to this woman and really objectifying her and it's just a lot and it's meant to be a lot though and you're it's meant to you know fuel your hate for the character and it worked really well <laughs> the film is shot beautifully the lighting in this film oh my god and there's also a lot of smoke and elements that come into it and you, you almost feel it through the TV or the computer whatever you're watching it on and it is amazing what they did with cinematography is just a plus. It was gritty, it was texturized, you could see every bead of sweat and I just felt gross. I wanted to take a shower. <laughs> um, if you watch the film you'll know why. I normally have a lot of issues when there's a lot of characters in a film, uh, especially like this, but I felt like they were all really distinct and different and you got to know them all uh, in a weird but clever way and I really liked that. And normally I'm not for this but it seemed to work really well and I think it had to do with the banter and the fast paced action. You didn't really have time to distinguish people sitting on one side of the room or the other. It's going back and forth and the camera angles, everything is moving all the time. The block this film was fantastic. People are on the floor, people are up. To be able to control several characters in a room, small room, at the same time and block it so they're done in interesting and uh, ways where the camera angles have to change to make it really visually appealing to your eye and really interesting, love it. And in that same token, they use different techniques, uh, especially towards the end. There's a quite an action pack scene and they use a very different type of like camera stabilizer um, to run and I thought it was really interesting and quite quirky but it worked really well in the film. Sometimes I don't like when they mix techniques but I think they did it really well. Overall this film is amazing to look at and really interesting to watch. The power play between the characters is really something to look out for and also keep your ears open because I don't want to spoil anything but something happens at the very start of the film that kind of clicked for me. It's a spoiler and I don't want to tell you but 
I pretty much figured out the film. <laughs> I'm gonna give this film a 7 out of 10. I highly recommend it. If you have it on Netflix, give it a watch. I know that sometimes people don't like foreign film and they don't like reading the subtitles, but I urge you, you will not be sorry. It is an amazing film and uh, it was just so fucking interesting. <laughs> I hope you guys found this video interesting and if you did and you like reviews like this, please give it a thumbs up and I'll talk to you guys very soon. Stay spooky, guys.